So I have made it no secret that I really had a good time in New World Eternum on the open beta weekend. Um, I had played the game on the PC when it came out, enjoyed it, um, did my 40 hours, went away, um, came back to try the controller support earlier in 2024, liked it, didn't have time to play it, had forgotten about it. The night before open beta, someone mentions it in stream, and I went, I'm going to go check that out this weekend. And I'm so glad I did. It was a blast on the PS5. Some of the things I remember are there, like the the core gameplay loop is still there. The way the game plays is still there. Um, but the the combat has been heavily refined. We've got better character creator. We've got a new intro. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Um, they've got a brand new main series quest that goes all the way through. And the big thing is they're bringing parity to all devices. So, well, I shouldn't say all, all but PlayStation, Xbox, PC... Um, are all getting the New World Eternum treatment. Uh, so if you own it on the PC and you already have the expansion on the PC, you're going to roll right into this version on the 15th of October, or you can pick it up on one of the consoles. I have yet to decide which console I'm picking it up on. Um, I played it on the PS5 over the open beta weekend, and it was fun. But for long-term play, I do prefer the Xbox controller, um, just because I get thumb fatigue with the PS5 controller. So I'm going to have to wait and see which device I get it on. But I am going to be playing this. Um, it resonated good with our audience here on YouTube and over on Twitch. We had great turnouts for the streams. Uh, we had really good reactions to the videos. Everyone seemed to be having a good time. Um, so we're going to go do this in October. In the middle of our already packed October. Because before we're doing this, we're doing um, Diablo 4 DLC. We've got Shattered Space in a few days. Then we've got Black Ops 6, and then we got Dragon Age of Veilguard. It is going to be a big November and o October and November for us, guys. Anyway, New World Eternum, they have a brand new video out talking about the upcoming release. It says launch updates. So this is going to be something related to launch. We're going to go watch it, react to it. Let's do it. When New World launched in 2021, we could have never anticipated the incredible response it received. Millions of players logged in and for the first time found themselves on the shores of the mysterious island of Eternum. They experienced our vision for an open world game with classless action combat combined with deep and varied RPG systems in a massive shared world. So, lots of We've stuff we know New world over time in marketing speech because this is updates, a promotional video new massive zones like brimstone sands this looks awesome wilds, by the new way weapons like the blunderbuss great sword and flail we've added seasons which bring the regular desert updates pyramids end game challenges and new quests seasons new world today is a very different game it than is. New world in 2021 and some of the biggest additions and updates to the game are set to arrive with the release of new world eternum on xbox series x and s playstation 5 and pc this october Look at that. Look at that. New World Eternum is the definitive New World experience. It's all of the content added to the game since launch, plus a number of exciting features and updates for both new and current players. Which is great. For the campaign, we've created a bigger, better, more cinematic experience that can be completed solo or cooperatively. That's okay. I'm going to pause the right there. Hold evolved. up. That is the most important thing that they have said this entire trailer is that right there let's back that up just a second so they've renovated the entire main series quest line bigger better more cinematic the bigger better more cinematic experience that but can here's be the most important solo. part that can be completed solo or cooperatively this is a huge huge deal so in the base game if you were going to level up your character you had to go through the quest in a certain order and there were dungeons that had to be done with other people at the time um, and that was a pressure point for a lot of players um, i went into it with a gaming community so i didn't have any problems doing those dungeons but i appreciate and respect the fact that there are solo players who don't have pre-made groups and it's a struggle for them to find groups to do content um, especially if they're not necessarily social people or maybe they never have played an MMO before it's a really good idea to have player agency there it's one of the areas where I think World of Warcraft has done a really good job in making sure that their game is accessible to as many players as possible Final Fantasy 14 is another great example um, but providing players with a solo way to finish the main storyline 
and having an optional cooperative experience for the players who want to take it to the next level, get a little bit better gear, and, and do things with other players and have a little bit more challenge. Um, I think it's going to be mentioned in this video, but they have added for the first time ever an actual raid. It's the first raid they've added to New World. It's a 10-man raid. Um, I think it would be very interesting to, to see that at some point. Uh, probably not in 2024, but it'd be cool if I could get to that by 2025. Um, but it's, uh, it's a very interesting addition to the game. And for me, it's the best thing to come out of this revamp is an, uh, an, a way to have this cinematic narrative experience, which is the way I love to play games and have it be in such a way that I could play it all the way to the end solo, just like a lot of other games. I could do Star Wars or Republic. I could do Lord of the Rings Online. These are older games, but still. World of Warcraft, as a, as a more modern example, Guild Wars 2. These are all games where I can solo my way all the way through the main quest line. And then there's group stuff around me that I can go do when I want to do group stuff. We have, you know, there's the... I don't know if they're going to mention it. I should probably watch the rest of this video, but still. Uh, uh, like the, the, the towns, leveling up the towns. That's a cooperative experience that you can participate in if you want to, but you don't have to. Same with the PvP. You can participate if you want to, but you don't have to. It's entirely consensual. Um, but this, this right here, the main storyline that you can complete all the way on your own solo. So that's a great addition um, for, for uh, console players. It's going to be essentially your single player third person RPG experience, uh, third person action RPG. So it's going to be like a lot of other things you've played in that arena. Low or cooperatively. The storytelling has evolved with new cinematics, new quests, and refined progression and leveling systems. By the way, the voiceovers, Players can interact with NPCs, everything we saw was new and amazing. Dialogue system, and everything has been optimized with full controller support. There's also a new player experience to help introduce players to the world and of it's the really good. It's beautiful. This new player experience is and really acts cool. as a great introduction to the deep lore and mechanics of the game. For New World veterans, we have some really awesome end game experiences planned for you as well. A major addition coming to New World Eternum is what we're calling the Cursed Mists. Tell me Cutlass more. Cutlass Keys has been transformed into a larger and more treacherous open world PvP PvE zone. Interesting. When players enter the mists, they're immediately flagged for PvP. All bets are off in this area. It's a total free for all. No grouping, just every adventurer for themselves. So this is the optional PvP. This free for all zone is also heavily populated with new enemies, special resources, and valuable treasures in cursed chests. This sounds a lot like what they're doing in, um, Dune Awakening, they've made the open desert with the Coriolis storms um, is going to be the optional PvP zone, and that's where you're going to go to find the best rewards, the best spice blows, um, you know, really cool treasures, uh, crafting materials, um, all these harvestables, like lots of things that only spawn in the desert are out there. Um, but they're not part of the main you know, storyline. They're this optional side thing, and it's a consensual zone when you go in. So it's your guild going in, knowing full well that other guilds are coming in, and everyone is competing for those resources. But it's out there as an optional thing to do. Um, I'm happy to see this in here. I might actually dip my toes into this. I don't normally like um, PvP, but I'm slowly trying to ease myself into it with these types of experiences where it's consensual, where I can go, okay, you know what, I, I feel like I might want to dip in for 35, 45 minutes today and, and just, you know, give tease. Just the tip. You'll have to survive against not only other players, but also powerful enemies to Love earn cursed doubloons, a special currency that can be exchanged for rewards at the Well of Fortune. The gear that you get at the Well of Fortune is some of the best endgame gear in Eternum, but with the highest rewards in the game come the highest risks. You'll have to tread lightly. She went to drama school. If you die school. in the cursed mist, you drop That's some awesome. of your cursed items, which of course can be looted by other players for their own gain. One of the most exciting new features coming to New World Eternum is our first ever 10 player raid, the that's, Hive that's of cool. Gorgons. After defeating Medusa in New Olympus, players will learn of a new threat. The Gorgons have risen and they're raising an army of the Hercene. To stop them, you'll have to assemble a team okay, of powerful players, that looks enter the cool. Hive, and negotiate a gauntlet of challenging puzzles and epic boss battles. 
Oh, I'm totally gonna be doing this. The raid has some of the best boss battles yet in New World. They're massive, imposing, and each require a unique strategy to take down. In the Hive of Gorgons, there's danger at every turn, with deadly traps to navigate and seemingly impossible mazes to solve. But the rewards are well worth the effort. Max level gear for all playstyles, armor sets, melee weapons, and artifacts for only the best uh... warriors in the town. The Hive of Gorgons also features a soundtrack unlike anything we've ever done before. We had the amazing opportunity to collaborate with an indie composer from Switzerland named Joel Schosch. It transports you straight into the Sweet. heart of the raid, creating a powerful Look contrast with its vision. Oh, guys, we can't I may wait have. Uh... For you to experience it. <laughs> there are many new mechanics. Of bosses I may be putting more time into this than I thought I would. Gorgons, and there are incredible rewards to earn. We're looking forward to players discovering all the secrets of the raid. Whether you're a new player or a seasoned veteran, New World Eternum I've got is an idea. stacked with amazing new adventures. Wait till the end. Gear scores it's... being increased to 725. Nice. And we're introducing new daily soul trials, which are challenging single player boss fights oh. with powerful gear. Trials will be featured across all games. Oh, we did we did two of those trials in the uh, in the players. in the open we'll beta. They were really hard. Events post -launch. To our community, a big thank you. To our existing players. Thank you for holding off the corrupted invasions and building a great community. To our new players, we I love her outfit, by the way. That jacket, it's not just the jacket, I love the whole ensemble. World awaiting you. This is the first chapter of a new era for us, and we can't wait to share everything we've been working on with you this October. We'll, we'll see, see you in Eternum. Um, I think I'm going to have to get this for the Xbox because. So, my initial plan was. I'm just going to go play the single player campaign, which is, I, you know, we've, we've talked a bit with the open beta community. I think most people are estimating 40 to 50 hours for the main story quest line, which is a pretty good, that's a pretty good investment. Um, that's like a two week haul. I can do that in about two weeks in terms of streams and everything else. Um, However, seeing this now, because my plan was just do that single player storyline, go away, do all the other things I want to do, and then um, maybe visit this again in a few months and see where it is. Um, but I think what I might do now, uh, because I think we're going to be wrapping up, possibly, I'm going to have a vote soon, but um, we'll see. There might be a position, there's another night of the week where I could do this. Um, and this might turn into something where I continue playing it like once a, once a week on that night um, for the next few months, working my way through it. Because I've been doing that with No Man's Sky, Lord of the Rings Online, and just continuing to play those outside of the mainstream sessions. We might have to we might have to do something with uh, New World Eternum that goes beyond just the main series questline because that raid zone looked really really cool. Um, I like the idea of actually putting in some time and seeing some of that which will push me beyond that initial uh, 40, 50 hour mark. We'll see. We'll see. Big thing is, I am going to be playing this uh, on October 15th. And yeah, I think we're going to go Xbox. It's going to be fun, everybody. So this is getting smashed in the middle of next month. But before we get there, we have other games we're playing. So hopefully you're going to stick around for all the other things that are happening here. I'm playing Star, uh, Starfield right now, We're moving into Shattered Space at the end of the month. Then we've got the Diablo 4 DLC. Then we've got New World Eternum. After that, we've got Black Ops 6. Then we've got Dragon Age The Veil vale Guard. Lots of games to play in November. Then we have Assassin's Creed Shadow and Stalker 2. And then in December, we have Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. And, and, and somewhere in there also is the Greedfall 2 open beta. Well, early access, I should say. And, uh, and, uh, Path of Exile 2. See you in the next one, everybody. Daily streams at 9 a.m. Mountain and again around 4 p.m. Mountain. See you in the next one.